brilliant. Get over here. What for? Now! What do you want from me? I want you to tie her up. <laughs> no, I'm not tying anyone up. You're gonna tie her up right now. Look, this is insane. Please! You heard the lady. <gasps> Get out! Oh. Sorry. You open it up. She goes inside. You're out of your fucking mind! Oh, fuck's sake! Right. Now you get in the car. Wait, right, dickhead! Does it look like I can drive? You get behind the wheel. You want me to drive you out of here? That's exactly what you're gonna do. Back here. Fuck! Hey, aren't you the guy from the car park? Listen, let me give you a ride. There's no more trains going from there anymore. Right, mate. That's my train. Not anymore. Oh, shit. Get in the car, Sunshine. Get in the fucking car. In that garage. The carabiner failed. What happened to your arm? He fell 15 feet onto a concrete floor. This is your idea of a slick operation. Dripping DNA all over the place, letting an eyewitness get away. I got the card, didn't I? It's outside. Jesus Christ! And who the hell's gonna drive? Because you're clearly not. I'll be all right. Fucking idiot. It has to be four people. There is no way you can manage the auction assistant and everyone downstairs on your own. I'm well aware of how many people it has to be. You have to call it off.
you want to tell Mr Wu that we missed the one chance to get our hands on his fucking rice ball? Because I don't. We have one window of opportunity and we're going to use it. Fine. How? Leave him to bleed. You need to make some calls and try and find a replacement in the next... Shit, in the next 30 minutes, call Danny if he doesn't pick up. Try and get hold of that, you know, Irish Pete. <sighs> what about him? Let's put a bullet in him. I don't care. Look, I, I don't know who you guys are or what you're up to, OK? I'm not going to say anything to anyone. Well, it's not going to take you long to figure it out, is it? Well, no, not if you keep talking in front of me, it won't. It'll be on the news, smart ass. Let me... I'm not a murderer. I don't intend to start now. Pass me Diffinoxin and a couple of cable ties. You stay where you are. Look, you said you wouldn't hurt me. No, I said I wouldn't kill you. That still leaves lots of painful options. Not good at maths, are you, mate? What's that supposed to mean? Minus one, plus one. That makes zero. Yeah, zero problems. Look. You need someone to help you out. And I need someone not to stick a fucking syringe in me. Why on earth would I trust you? Because you don't have a choice. Just like I don't. <sighs> See your point. Are you serious? Are you going to go to the basement? We've got no idea who he is. After tonight, I'm not going to see him again. What difference does it make? The difference is this guy looks like trouble. Well, Mr Wu is trouble, and we've made a deal with him we can't go back on. What do you say? I don't care who does what, as long as I get my cut. You better not fuck this up. What about the money? Don't push your luck. I'm taking his risk, so I want his share. Fuck off. Shut up, idiot. I'll be worth the money. OK, I'll tell you what, you two split 50-50, that's the deal. Done. You can't do this. It's done. You're joking. We'll find you. So what do I do next? Do I go along with this and then try and turn him in? Do I keep my mouth shut and take the money?